Welcome to my humble abode, your go-to channel for skincare. I'm not a professional and I don't claim to be one. I am just a girl who is crazy over skincare. So in today's video, we're asking the question, which one, Tay? Which one of what? Which snail serum you should be putting on your face, of course. There is a timestamp in the description box below, so if you want to jump around the products, you are more than welcome to. This is available on most of my videos. So in this series, which one? We basically find products that are very similar and I dissect it for you so that you can choose which one is best for you. I just love me some snail. It always leaves my skin feeling so plumpy and so juicy it is just so hydrating after i put snail on my skin so we are going to be looking at three of my favorite snail products today we are going to be looking at the i unique black snail restore serum causar x advanced snail 96 musin power essence benton snail b high content essence Okay, let's start with the iUnique Black Snail Restore Serum. This has 70% of black snail extract and 10% of Centella Asiatica leaf water. So these two products work really well together to calm and repair the skin. So obviously on the top of this ingredient list is snail secretion filtrate. Snail filtrate is a very common K-beauty ingredient. If you have not encountered snail before, ooh, girl, you are going to love it. Snail is known to repair dry patches, acne breakouts, and signs of aging. In snail filtrate, you'll find a ton of protein, hyaluronic acid, copper peptides, and antimicrobial peptides. Then there's 10% Asiatica leaf extract, as I said, and this is also another very common K-beauty ingredient, really known for its antioxidant properties, as well as its calming and soothing properties to the skin. Then there's one of my favorite ingredients in here, and I think it's just a favorite in the skincare community in general. Fifth in the ingredient list is niacinamide. I always say on my channel that niacinamide is like skincare's perfect child. It works well on all skin types. It's good for reducing redness, regulates oil on your skin, so really, really good for those with oily skin. And it can also brighten up your skin and address hyperpigmentation or blemishes that you have on your skin. And in percentages of more than 2%, it can actually start stimulating the collagen in your skin. Then towards the middle of the list and also at the bottom, you have soybean and licorice. These are also known for brightening and depigmenting the skin. Because this has the niacinamide, soybean and the licorice, I know that it's going to bring in some really good brightening properties. So I love dabbing it just under the, the snail secretion creates sufficient hydration for it to go under my eye. And all of those other ingredients work really well to just brighten the under eye. So I adore it for that as well. There are moisturizers and humectants in here as well that I really love and when I say humectant a humectant is an ingredient that draws water from around it and holds on to it so humectants can backfire I just want to say this if you live in a really really dry place chances are you're putting hyaluronic acid on your skin which is a humectant and if it cannot draw water from the air around it, it still needs to draw water and, and hold on to it because that is what it's meant to do. So if you live in a ridiculously dry area, if it cannot get it from around you, it is now going to go into your skin and actually draw the water that you actually have and pull it and pull it to the surface of your skin. So be careful, humectants can backfire 
I know there's a big hype around hyaluronic acid so if ever you are using hyaluronic acid and you see that your skin is actually feeling dehydrated after you put it onto your skin you know why otherwise humectants are brilliant ingredients for holding moisture into your skin. The humectants and moisturizers that are in here are really beautiful. They basically imitate what is within your skin already, such as glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, and arginine. The other moisturizers and humectants that are in here are butylene glycol, allantone, and pentaline glycol so you're gonna get that moisturization and you're gonna get that hydration onto your skin there are also soothing and antioxidant ingredients in here which will help to nourish and protect your skin barrier these include the soybean extract which is also what we discussed earlier that also contributes to the skin brightening properties sesame seed extract centella asiatica extract Earlier we discussed the 10% of the Centella Asiatica leaf water. This is an extract. This means that the concentration is much more than the leaf water. There's rice extract in here, eggplant extract and mugwort. Really gorgeous, soothing and antioxidant ingredients. I know this is important to a lot of you. This is alcohol free, essential oil free and fragrance free. In terms of the texture, it absorbs really easy into the skin. It doesn't leave any stickiness or any residue. This serum is great for people with combination and oily skin. You saw how easily it just absorbs into my skin. Personally for me, it works amazingly for my dry skin in spring and in summer. Ingredients in here are just so great, especially when my skin is feeling irritated or if it's getting red from the sun. There are just soothing properties in here and there's just such gorgeous ingredients. I mean, there's niacinamide in this baby. It's loaded with antioxidants. I got to say, she a baddie in the snail serum world. I literally started seeing the difference in my skin the first week that I used this serum. I am so obsessed with her. She is just, she's the one. She is the one. So if you have oily to combination skin and you're looking to add snail into your skin routine, she is the baddie for you. If you have very dry skin like me, you will definitely be reaching for her on those much warmer to hotter days so really really great i absolutely adore this product next up we have the cosar x advanced snail 96 musin essence power Ooh, a mouthful this has a very simple ingredient list the star here, once again, is snail. There's 96% of snail filtrate in this. There are some skin identical humectants and moisturizers, like in the iUnique serum. They are sodium, hyaluronate, and arginine. The other moisturizers and humectants are betaine, butylene glycol, panthenol, and allantone. Really, really stunning hydrating ingredients actually one of my favorite like all of those products are on my yes girl yes girl yes girl yes girl list once again you'll be so happy to note that this is alcohol free fragrance free and essential oil free in terms of texture it definitely has that snail like texture I didn't break it, I didn't break it, I didn't break it, I didn't break it. And it's much thicker than the eye unique, but it definitely does eventually get into the skin. It does leave a little bit of a tackiness, but there's no residue once it gets in. So I find that because this is so hydrating and it has so much body and it literally just 
hugs my skin with hydration i reached a lot for this during winter so if you have ridiculously dry skin and your skin is extremely dry even in the summer you'll probably reach for this too i definitely don't recommend that people who have oily skin opt for this i feel like because it is so hydrating and so moisturizing you'll definitely feel it on your skin unless it's like the only thing that you're going to be using if you're still gonna add a serum maybe a moisturizer plus your spf i feel like it's really gonna like you know you're gonna build a lot of moisture onto your skin and i mean having oily skin and still putting all of that in you're gonna feel very okay, frustrated and the last snail product that we're going to be looking at is the benton snail bee high content essence this has 90% of snail filtrate in it. The second ingredient is aloe leaf juice. So you're really going to get that calming, soothing and hydrating property from the aloe leaf juice. Ooh, the fourth ingredient is arbutin. I adore arbutin. It is one of my favorite ingredients to address hyperpigmentation dark spots, sunspots, blemishes on my face. Then the seventh ingredient is bee venom. Ooh, another fancy ingredient. There is 2% of bee venom in here. Bee venom is a natural wrinkle smoothing ingredient boo. So no bees die in the extraction of the bee venom. So the bees are stimulated with a mild electric shock. That makes them mad. Uh, I mean, that gonna make me mad too. And that causes them to sting. However, the stinger stays intact so the bees actually don't die. If you are allergic to bee stings, please stay away from this product. Thank you very much. In the middle of the ingredient list, you'll find azelaic acid. This is a great acid for acne prone skin. It is anti-inflammatory and it also helps with depigmenting. Azelaic acid is a good ingredient to turn to when you have pimples and you're just dealing with blemishes on your skin tone. Then there's moisturizing ingredients in here. Um, some are skin identical like the previous products that we've seen. They have glycerin and arginine in here. And the other humectants are butylene glycol, aloe leaf extract, beta glucan, betaine, panthenol and pentylene glycol. So lots of humectants and moisturizing ingredients in here too. In terms of texture with this, but it absorbs really easily into the skin and there's not a lot of body and not too much moisturization. Um, you can definitely feel the hydration but you know it's not there's no tackiness, there's no residue and it just absorbs so quickly and so easily into the skin. I reached for the Benton Snail Bee and I'm including snail into my skin routine but my skin wants to break out um, so I would definitely suggest this for people who have oily and acne prone skin it doesn't sit heavily on your skin so if your budget is tight if you have dry skin i would say that you definitely should opt for the causar x if you have acne prone skin you want to opt for the benton and if you have combination to oily skin you should definitely opt for the eye unique overall um you know, I do have a favorite. The Eye Unique for me is just absolute magic. In choosing this, I think it's important to just know at what point and what stage your skin is. All three are magnificent products. I absolutely love them. And yeah, I really hope that this video helped you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've gotten this far, then you might as well subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you again.